What's up guys and happy Friday. I hope y'all are doing great. Today I'm going to give you five tips and tricks if you are planning a visit to Six Flags Great Adventures Coaster Power Hours. So let's get right into it. First tip I could give you guys and it is a fairly important one. Go on a day where the park is not open to the general public beforehand. Me and my friend Alex at Excella Coasters on Instagram, make sure to go drop him a follow. We went on a day where the park was open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. to the general public and power hours started at 6. And we talked to a bunch of people that said the previous power hours were much better with the crowds and everything was walk on. We waited about 10 minutes for everything. So make sure you go on a day where the park is not open beforehand to the general public. The next tip I have for you guys is if you can't go on a day where the park isn't open beforehand, go to a coaster that is not as popular such as El Toro first. Everyone's first instinct is to go right to El Toro. You know, you need that Intamin prefab goodness, but no, go to a ride such as Bizarro first. You'll walk right on that. Everyone goes to El Toro first, so that builds up a little bit of a line. So head back to El Toro later on when everyone starts to move on to the other rides. This way you could stay on Toro and marathon it as much as you want instead of going around and around and around and around and around. Two hours later. And then around and around and around and around. Eventually. And around and around and around and around. Over and over and over again. You guys get the point. This tip is mainly for the GP. If you're going for a one day trip to Coaster Power Hours, don't feel the need to rush from ride to ride. Yes, the park is only open for about five hours during this event, but there is no lines for anything and you will get to ride everything multiple times. So do not stress yourself out with that and just enjoy the park. My fourth and final tip is go to this event. It is great. For pass holders, it's only $5. For one day ticket holders, it's only $30. Some might think, oh, $30, that's a bit much for only the coasters being open. But hey, that's really cheap actually. And we go to Six Flags for the coasters anyway, right? Who cares about the flat rides? So go to this event. It is a amazing experience. You meet some great people and it's overall just a great time. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss when I upload. And I hope you guys found some of my tips and tricks helpful before you plan a visit to Six Flags Great Adventure Coaster Power Hours. Have a great weekend, everybody.